For a look behind the scenes to ask any questions or simply stay in touch, make sure to follow me on Instagram under techmagnet underline YT. What's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video and today it's time to bring an update on my AMD Ryzen setup I built a month ago for video editing. So while this PC is a real beast, it comes with an AMD Ryzen 3900X combined with 32GB of DDR4 RGB memory by Gigabyte, an RTX 2060 also from Gigabyte and my most favorite part, the 1TB Generation 4 NVMe SSD, the Gigabyte Auroros. And this really made my workflow a lot faster. So today in this video I want to show you which kind of software I use, how editing on the AMD Ryzen feels like, which cameras I'm using and also which microphones I'm using. And I just got the brand new AKG Lyra which is a USB microphone which sounds really really good and also some new headphones from AKG and big thanks to Gigabyte and AKG for sending this out. And now I would say um, let's check it out but make sure you stay until the end because today we are also hosting a giveaway. So let's go! So in my last video I was building this PC especially for video editing and I actually already did this with knowing that I will switch to video editing software. Regardless of how much money you can save with a free software versus a subscription based one, with 4K footage and high bitrate and a lot of built in effects and transitions, you are going to have to invest in a machine that can somewhat handle these files. With somewhat meaning that you can at a minimum get video playback at a low resolution but not necessarily playback from the original files. Resolve and Adobe operate quite differently and from my experience you can get better playback from Resolve and let's check out why. While there could be many reasons why Adobe Premiere Pro crashes or performs bad but in most circumstances it's due to a dated or low performing CPU. While Adobe has made strides with GPU acceleration, while GPU is a graphics card, they remain on heavy CPU usage to process the software. With the AMD Ryzen 3900X I got a huge performance boost in Premiere Pro, but still it was crashing from time to time. Resolve on the other hand bases its performance on the user's GPU. While there is still work for the CPU, but the balance favors the GPU. I've chosen the Gigabyte RTX 2060 Gaming OC Pro and this card comes with 3 fans, a slight overclock and 6GB of graphics memory, which is definitely enough for smooth 4K playback in DaVinci. The GPU performs really good in gaming as well and runs most of the games in 4K at medium graphics, so for the price it's a pretty good performance and you can still overclock it. So to keep it short, for fluid editing in Premiere Pro you're going to need a high-end processor and a moderate GPU. In Resolve, because the load is more balanced, you can use a mid-range GPU and a mid-range CPU for video editing. When it comes to storage and RAM, these parts are also crucial. You need a fast SSD and plenty of RAM so you won't bottleneck your CPU and GPU performance. I'm personally using the Gigabyte Auros Generation 4 NVMe SSD, which can be used with the Ryzen processor and newer motherboards that support Generation 4 SSDs. The SSD has insane read speeds of up to 5000 megabytes per second and also write speeds of up to 4400 megabytes per second. The SSD is quite big as it comes with a massive copper heatsink to keep it cool. I'm also ordering a second one to put it in an external Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. The best case on the market right now from my point of view is the Uniboss Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. It comes with a special Intel chipset that allows full Thunderbolt bandwidth with up to 40 gigabit per second. No other case can do this so far. And most on Amazon do false advertising about it and in reality you just get 10 or 20 gigabit per second. To connect this to the PC you will need a Thunderbolt 3 compatible motherboard or get an expansion card. The Gigabyte GC Titan Ridge is right now one of the best choices as it supports Thunderbolt 3 40 gigabit. But keep in mind, in order to make it work your motherboard needs to support it. Anyhow, the Uniboss enclosure is a great tip to have incredibly fast Thunderbolt storage with your Thunderbolt 3 compatible PC and it even works with the Generation 4 SSD but for sure it will run at a bit lower speeds. However, with a Generation 4 SSD I noticed a big improvement in importing times of clips and also scrolling through my timeline was a lot faster. The exact amount of RAM you need is going to depend on the resolution, the length and the complexity of your project. But Resolve in general is fairly light on RAM requirements. I would recommend 32GB for 4K and 64GB for 6K or 8K projects. 
I personally went with 32GB of Gigabyte RGB RAM, which doesn't only look amazing, but also runs really stable. The base clock on my RAM modules is 3200 MHz, but they also do quite well in overclocking and 3600 MHz wasn't a problem. So personally I can really recommend the Auros RGB memory and it also looks really great. So once you got your PC with the right hardware, you can actually start to learn the software and oh my god, I was so confused when I switched from Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci. But after two days of checking out the software, I really learned a lot. I think the learning curve in Resolve is way steeper and you learn things quite fast even though it's totally different. The first clip I made with absolutely no knowledge of DaVinci Resolve took me 30 minutes. It consisted out of footage from the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and I loved that the software has a function that's called auto color grading. I thought that can't be good, but when the footage is from a Blackmagic camera, it is doing really good. Now here's the clip which I shot handheld and no color grading except Resolve's auto color grading. Now let me know what you think. So overall I have to say, I'm a beginner with Resolve, just like you guys, but what I've seen so far is that it is really powerful and cheaper than Adobe. The color grading options are also incredible, as you have so many different options that you could change every single color in your video file. But that's something I have to learn more as well. Resolve also has a powerful visual effects and 3D editing tool that is now directly integrated into DaVinci Resolve and it's called Fusion. The intro we have seen in the beginning, where I showed my Instagram channel, was made in Fusion as well, and it's basically a sandbox builder with so-called nodes. Within these nodes you can do almost everything you can imagine and all the changes are tracked in the nodes providing a great overview. After Effects is great as well, but way harder to learn than Fusion, and for most users out there including me, Fusion is more powerful than I will ever need. The nodes are also present in color grading, allowing you to track every single change and also copy changes to other clips, which I found really convenient. Unfortunately audio processing wasn't that satisfying in Resolve. Premiere Pro and Audition do great for audio processing, especially removing pop sounds or clicks and I didn't find this option in Resolve yet. As microphone I'm using right now the AKG Lura, which is a new powerful USB microphone. And all you have to do is connect this to your PC and choose the mode you want. It features front audio, front and back audio for interviews, tight stereo or wide stereo sound, for instance for a jam session. It's currently my go-to microphone and I'm using it for all my videos and the whole video was actually recorded on this microphone. I'm using this mic with the AKG K371 headphones which sound amazing for monitoring your audio. They come with a mini XLR connector and a mini XLR to 3.5mm adapter cable and as well as a 6.3mm adapter. I also use the headphones for monitoring the sound straight out of my camera and the clarity is pretty much insane. I will also follow up with a dedicated video about the microphone and headphones so stay tuned. I'm still using Audition to record my audio but Resolve has also a built-in recorder in its Fairlight audio tool. But personally I feel that Audition is the better way for me, but I will give it a try later. So overall, if you can't take it anymore that Premiere Pro is crashing all the time, give DaVinci Resolve a try. 
it really didn't disappoint me yet and now let's talk a bit. Alrighty guys, so we're now here at the end of this video and now quickly my feedback to DaVinci Resolve. So I think Resolve is a very powerful editing tool, um, an all-in-one solution and the color grading options are just simply amazing. So you can make every single clip match with the vector scopes, plenty of options to change the colors and the note system is really nice also to apply it to different tracks and the color grading has a pretty good workflow in DaVinci. I see most of my um, video editing friends that they use Premiere Pro to edit it and then use DaVinci Resolve to color grade it, which is a workflow I don't like too much because I need to be fast and quite efficient. Now well, um, I use DaVinci Resolve mostly for commercials or other projects which I don't use on YouTube because then I want that the video has a unique look throughout the video. However, when it comes to YouTube, I don't have too much time to make every single clip match, so I just record here and there, put it together and try to tell a story. And you can basically do that in every video editing software, but the nice thing about DaVinci is that you have an all-in-one solution, which is really powerful, and you don't have to pay a monthly fee. So that's just my personal feedback. So far there are also some things I don't like, because um, with DaVinci Resolve 16, um, with Fusion, I bought plenty of templates, infographics, transitions, and I always get some random export error when I try to render it. So it seems that there is an issue between the version compatibility, between the older version, newer version, and Fusion is just very complex and it's very hard to look inside what is actually the problem. Why is this thing not exporting? So well, um, if you do really basic editing with not too many effects, um, give DaVinci Resolve a try. Um, if you do a lot of effects, then make sure you have a good computer. With my computer, it's actually doing fine. Um, the RTX 2060 from Gigabyte is amazing fast. The SSD is super fast. I have enough RAM and a really powerful processor. So I could actually use Premiere Pro and DaVinci, but yeah, um, I think DaVinci is really cool and on the long run, I will switch to it, but they do a lot of improvements month for month. Alright guys, um, that's it, that was my quick feedback to DaVinci, and thanks to the guys over at Blackmagic, I have now three licenses for you guys to win today, so you can use the free version, there's a link down below, but if you want to go um, to the studio version and use the full power of DaVinci Resolve, then make sure to participate in the giveaway. And yeah, last but not least, I still have some more things to win and let me quickly show you that. So we have a Google Nest Mini, as you can see, I really love Google Home and there will be a video very soon. Then I have here a Fitbit Ionic, um, it's a smartwatch, um, actually a fitness tracker, but also has really um, cool functions like Fitbit Pay, where you can pay with the smartwatch and then we have the PicaGo 7-inch laptop. Now I'm getting the new version and this one here is the one for my review, so it's slightly used but it's working fine um, to use it on the go. Um, review is also online, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. And then I have another spare water cooler because I have the bigger system in my PC and this here is the 280mm version of the PC cooler, water cooler. A really good, um, really good system, it's from a Chinese company that is not that well known right now but they make really really good cooling solutions and last but not least um, we have some small prices two times dead rising 4 so this is still sealed i don't have an xbox one anymore and maybe someone can use that so yeah that's the giveaway for today um, something i want to mention now at the end as well headphones microphones so if you're looking for a great headphone check it out so it's really doing good for um, just talking into the camera, for doing voiceovers. Um, it's a really nice one. Uh, there will be a video soon dedicated on this one and my MacBook editing station. And also big thanks to Gigabyte for supplying the hardware and AKG for sending this here out. So that's it guys, finally done and I hope you liked it, if you liked it please like it, if you have any questions put them down below into the comments and if you want to see more then please subscribe. As always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I will catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye!